Hey, it's Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, and I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul. Please, please, please like and subscribe, and thank you so much for coming back and, and watching my videos. Um, I'm brand new to this, so bear with me again. Um, I just wanted to share my love of the Dollar Tree and the things that I find, which I find so many awesome deals that I feel like, wow, it has to be shared. Um, and I just enjoy doing this. I also want to have a shout out to my very first subscriber. You know who you are, and I appreciate you being the very first one to um, like and subscribe to my channel. And um, hopefully it'll grow and grow and grow. And I can continue doing this because actually I really enjoy it. So let's get started. Um, I broke down um, into categories things that I have purchased recently at my local Dollar Trees. Um, so I'm going to try to do this in a better, quicker manner and not drag it out like I've been doing, but bear with me again. So at the Dollar Tree, um, one of the biggest areas that I love to go to and just take my time is the kitchen slash um, miscellaneous slash cookware kind of things because they have tons and tons of different gadgets um, cookwares pans glasswares you know all kinds of things like that and um, so I want to start off with a couple of great finds that I, I found recently that I really was blown away by because I was looking for something to put stuff in and it's going to be perfect and that is this little jar here so basically um, it's about a four ounce jar um, it is made by Greenbrier the Greenbrier um, products that that we that we Dollar Tree is well known for um, the only thing is it does say um, hand wash and I got it upside down yeah hand wash um, that is kind of a little you know not so great however um, I don't mind I'll wash it up with some soapy water um, and I'm probably gonna put some sugar in it or some tea bags. I haven't quite decided yet, but look at this. This right here, it has this sturdy um, top. I mean, you could do a lot of things with this and it's quite heavy and it's just a wonderful find. So I didn't just get one of them. I got two because that's how I roll because I know if I don't grab up one or two of them and I know I'm going to use them so it's not like I'm wasting it, um, they will not be there. Another um, glassware that I needed to have, which also I'm going to put sugar in too, but it's going to be a different type of sugar. It's going to be the sugar I put in like my coffee and um, things like that, is this kind of, I guess you call it like a creamer. Uh, not a creamer, but a sugar container, but you can get them in like creamers too. And they actually had two different kinds, but I just decided to have this one. It's also made by Greenbrier. Um, and this one you can actually put in the dishwasher, just not the, the actual lid to it. And it has the little spout where it pours out when you pour out the sugar like that. And it's, you know, a pretty good size and it's a heavy weight. And I do not have one of these. And I said, you know, I'm going to take this because I'm, I'm tired of pulling out the little packets. I want to just have some sugar in it and I can pour it in my coffee real quick and keep it set up and it's where it, you know things it'll keep it kind of fresh so this was another great buy for one dollar um, love it love it love it then I um, also want to give a, a shout out for their Tupperware or for their um, storage containers for food food contour food container storages um, because they have a wide variety and when I see one with a, a brand name I snap it up and one of the things that I love about the Dollar Tree is that they do carry brand name items and this item here is by Rubbermaid okay and it's it's when I saw it I'm like I haven't seen that that's kind of different and when you see how it's made here it's got this lid and then it's got a middle piece and then it's got the bottom and it's called a take along twist and seal. So not only can you um, put your little food in here, like they got an example of carrots and celery, it has a little tray and a snappable lid on it. And guys, this was $1. Now, um, if you take snacks to your work or you, know, you just wanna have snacks for a, a toddler, 
this is one dollar it's a wonderful um wonderful buy and of course again i had to have two of them because i will use these these will not go to waste and i have to make sure i keep them away from other people who want to take them and not bring them back so yeah rubbermaid items awesome i love them i i recommend highly that you check out their their um, storage containers there because this is just one of thousands that they offer it's it's a really great deal then i had been looking at this particular item several times and i thought nah i probably would never use it but then um i said you know what i think i will use it because i have gotten into where i like to eat things like egg drop soup um a chicken and rice soup um i really thought you know this is kind of just an easy container i do have um the ceramic cups that i usually or mugs i will put my soup in the big ones like that and eat out of that ceramic sometimes gets a little hot but this right here even if um you know i never used this but once or twice the best thing about this is that the thing literally can be taken with you i can pop something in it put the lid on it, store it away into the car as I'm driving. It will not leak out, it will not fill over, and it's got this little cute little top here that moves back and forth. That, you know, if you wanna sip out of it, um, it can fit in a straw. I mean, this is awesome. Now this is a brand called Surefresh, and that's a, a popular brand at the Dollar Tree. Um, but this right here is a soup mug, and they came in a lot of different colors. I just happened to at one he had them all out they had a lot of colors but i just happened to see this one randomly sitting on a shelf which i'm notorious about doing if i see one thing i'm like oh let me get it because i know i'm going to regret it um and i will use this you know when it starts getting cool when it's a cooler time fall winter um i will use it and i will have soups and i think this will be something that i will definitely be using and i just like the way it feels it's a good size um i think it's eight ounces yeah eight ounces um yeah pretty good deal for a dollar and I just snapped that up and I'm going to use it um, another um, container thing that I had been passing up many times I kept saying I want to buy these but I have no idea why what I would put in them I don't want to waste the money just to buy something and not ever use it and it just be there just to have it but I got to the point after about six or seven times passing it up I decided, you know, this is the time I'm going to go ahead and get it, and I'm going to use it. And I bought two separate ones, um, and they're in two separate shapes. Now, these are also the Surefresh brand, and these have 10 little compartments. Um, I, I didn't really know if I'd use them for the kitchen or if I'd use them, like, for miscellaneous things like safety pins, um, thumbtacks paper clips i don't know i just know there's 10 of these um they are pretty sturdy um, i haven't opened up and actually seen the actual lid of them yet but there's 10 and these are the square ones and you know i thought hey for a dollar i'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot because again i like to have things in a storage kind of way organized and this is perfect so not only did i buy the square ones i also bought these circle ones um, they're also, they're still the Surefresh 10 um, pack. And then these are just the same thing with 10, but they're round. And I had to have them. I, I didn't know at first, you know, I, I was thinking, nah, I probably wouldn't have it. It'd just be a bunch of little things around. Then I got to thinking, well, you know, if I store certain things in them and I put them in an organized kind of way, it would be really a great way to pick up one little cup, square or round, and get what I need. And then I can put it back and it'll have a lid on it. So if it is little things like paper clips or bobby pins or, or hair ties or whatever I can fit in here, it'll be in, a, in an organized kind of manner. So 20 little cups, a um, dollar a piece. Um, you can't go wrong with some of these deals. It's gonna, it's gonna be, and I will use them and I'll show you hopefully in the future how I do use those. So those are great buys. I really think you should. Um, also, Dollar Tree has snack bags, freezer bags. They have name brand um, companies like Glad. Um, they have Hefty. Um, they have different types of 
name brand stuff, but they have a lot of, of things like this. Sure Fresh again is um, what we've been talking about in the last couple of things, but in this case, we're talking about the snack, small little uh, zipper lock snack bags. And I put things like um, blueberries, I put olives, I'll put um, cucumbers. It just depends on whatever I'm taking at that time. Um, cheese cubes, and it's just a smaller one. It's not the full size uh, sandwich bag. It's a small snack bag. There's 45 in here, um, and that's quite a bit. I mean, these last me for a while, and, and I usually pick up two of them when I go. In this case, I only just grab one because I already have almost a full one anyway, but I don't like to get out of them because they're, they're just easy. I can carry them. I can throw them in my, my lunch bag, and hey, I can do it. And sometimes I have some small little leftover things. I can throw them in here and throw them in the refrigerator. Love these bags. They're well worth the dollar. Um, on that, with everything going on in the world, um, I know we need to be sanitary and every time i see these right here um these disposable gloves there's 100. i love it when i see things that are like 100 because you're getting a lot for your money um i use these major uh, majorly is that a word when i'm at the gas pump um, i put them on i leave them in my dash or in my console and I will make sure when I pump gas that I have these on. Also, um, we use them when we, uh, you know, we had a baby shower at work. We, I had these and we grabbed them and we put them out for people, you know, because they were handling food. I believe that for 100 of these things, these little gloves are perfect. Um, there for a while, you didn't see them for a long time and I rarely see them, so I went ahead and grabbed another pack. I have almost half of another one that I've been using, so they last a long, long time, but I just went ahead um, and said, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one because you never know, and you know, we're having, my daughter's having a baby shower in um, the end of August, which is just coming up next week, um, the month of August, and I thought, you know, she might even have these put out for, for the guests if they, you know, want to be sanitary and have these gloves available. Great, great, great deal. I recommend them. I use them and they're wonderful um, products. Okay, now I'm going to go into, um, we actually have one more um, household item. Uh, I buy these often. I actually really like them. It's this, um, it's a duster. It's just a plain duster, but it's a different kind of, it's the micro duster which to me seems like it will get the dust off my ceiling fans. And, um, you know, I just like them. When you take this off, it pops, it puffs up like a little puffer pop, puffer pad, and you just use it and it cleans up everything. Now, once you use this two or three times, you can rinse it off and um, with Febreze and, and reuse it. But I usually, you know, dust so much or wait too long to dust. So when I do dust, they get pretty bad. So I usually wind up buying these, you know, every other month because just they're a good product. Um, you could use other things, but they're, they're long. They have a long handle. They're a good grip. You can reach higher. I like them and I will keep using them. They have different types at, um, at these Dollar Trees, you know, occasionally, but this one is the one I've been seeing the most and it's just called a chiffon microfiber duster and it is made by Greenbrier and it's a great buy and I recommend it if you need something like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the food items. Um, I only have just a few items that I bought at, bought in these last little trips that I've had to the Dollar Tree. Um, but again, if I see something that's a great deal or something that I know I'm gonna use, I know I need to go ahead and get it because nine times out of 10, if it's a special buy or something, it will not be there. Um, ever again. I've had that happen to me. I'm like, oh, I'll wait and do it another time, buy it another time, and there's never another time. And some stuff I've never been able to find because I never, I should have bought it at that original visit. So number one um, food thing that I'm going to show today is this Russell Stover's sugar-free candy. It's a caramel um, flavor. Good. Um, if you're trying to cut out sugar, this is a great um, substitute. It's made with the stevia extract. 
Um, I love Stevia products. I like the taste of it better than like Splenda or, you know, Sweet and Low and all that. The Stevia just seems to taste to me a little bit like sugar um, without the sugar um, carbs and all that. And this right here is a three piece serving. So this entire package, three pieces, is one serving and it's 160 calories. Um, I've eaten a candy bar one bite and the, that bite was probably 300 calories. So for it to be able to get a whole package with three and it, it usually has three, but every once in a while I'll look up if I fill around in the bag and there'll be four pieces and then I can have two pieces one day and then a few days later I can have a couple other pieces. And sometimes I'll just have one every once in a while. This is not a daily thing for me. I'll, I'll eat it here and there because the stevia does, um, you know, it does um, make you, yeah. Um, this, <laughs> oh yeah. But either way, this is a great product. I, I'm going to tell you, Russell Stover's, try to buy it anywhere else. Um, you're not going to pay a dollar for it. Nowhere. Not even for a three-piecer. They'll still be, even at the Dollar General, I think I saw this one time, it was like a two forty nine, And I'm like, they sell the same thing. I mean, it might have been a, a little bit bigger bag, but this is a, a convenient package. They come in a multitude of varieties. I, I also buy the mint flavor ones. They have dark chocolate. They have the chocolate covered peanuts. So I have tried different things, but what, this is one of my favorites. That and the pecan delight. Um, but when I see these, I grab them up because yeah, they're wonderful um, snacks to have when you're really wanting something sugary without the sugar. Okay, another thing that I buy from the Dollar Tree and they is this almond milk. Okay. Almond milk is not to regular milk, of course, um, and you see it's in this carton. Um, it's gluten-free, soy-free, and dairy-free. So you're like, Where, how do you get milk out of an almond? That's what my son always says. I don't know. I actually love almonds, um, and I do like the almond milk. I'm mindful to look at it that I get the unsweetened because the sweetened one can you know, have a little bit more sugar than I need to be having. But in this case, there's only two sugars for one serving, which is a, it's actually four servings per, which is a cup, four servings per box. So when you open this up, you will need to refrigerate it up to seven days. Um, and I always make sure when I do open it up um, that I have recipes, but I usually like make strawberry milkshakes or I might use it in some recipes where it would call for some almond milk. Um, this um, actually goes, it expires on all, um, excuse me, April 2022. So it's got some time before it will go out and I usually, you know, use it a lot. Um, they have also whole milk, 1% milk. They have the almond milk that's sweetened. Um, it's just a good thing. If you don't, if you, it, like I have usually used to buy milk and it would just spoil because we would not drink it um, we couldn't drink it fast enough. This right here, it sits in your pantry and you know, you use it when you use it and it's a good thing that keeps from being wasteful. I like it. So I got, I grabbed two of these. I'm going to stock it up in my pantry and I'm going to find recipes soon to utilize those. That is an awesome buy. And then the last food item that I got is, um, these Clancy's pork rinds or excuse me, yeah, pork rinds. Um, I don't really like the plain ones. I really, when I do these, if I'm just going to snack on these, I will get um, like a hot, spicy flavor or maybe a vinegar flavor or a barbecue flavor. But in this case, I'm actually going to take these up and ground them and and coat them on some, some meat that I'm going to make, like some cube steak and things like that. And I'm going to see how it takes. Or I might coat them over some um, chicken and put them in my air fryer to see if they'll come out like um, um like um, like ch chicken tenders without all the carbs. So that's what I plan on doing with these pork rinds. Um, they have no carbs, um, no sugars, and it does have six grams of fat. Um, if you're watching fats, you want to be careful of that. But um, like I said, I'm not going to be eating these like you know chips or anything like that. I'm actually using them for coating. And when I do buy them to eat, just 
right out of the bag. I try to watch the fat content of it. Um, again, this is a buy that I buy a lot, and this is good till uh, July 2022. Um, yeah, very good, good deal. All right, then I'm going to go into the next category, which I'm going to say is a dog, the dog and pet category. I say dogs because we have dogs, but it's the pets category. Um, I only have a few things. Um, one of them, and then one of the first things, which I've been using a lot of it lately, is this foam carpet refresher. Um, I don't put it on my carpet because our dogs don't come in the house. They actually have their own little shed and sometimes they're in my garage. But this is wonderful on their um, their their beds, their dog beds, um, and inside the crate, the, the covers they have in, the, in the, their crate. So it's made by the Home Store, which is a good brand. Um, I like their products. It's for um, both cats and dogs, um, and it's got a great carpety. It's like a, a refreshing kind of smell for the carpet, and. It's kind of like a Febreze for dogs, but it's foamy and then it disappears. And sometimes I'll use the vacuum cleaner and um, work it out. But this takes away the odor of it. It gets, you know, all the stains out of it. I actually really, really, really um, like it. It says right here, no vacuum needed. So that's your, your choice. But sometimes I'll do it because of the hair and things like that. But this is a dollar, okay? One dollar. And I only have one can of it because it's not like I use it a lot but I do use it occasionally just to, to freshen up their, their stuff, especially right after they've had a bath. That way when they go to their beds, they're a little bit smelling pretty good. Um, and then um, this is the last thing on the dog, on the pet section. It's um, already been uh, distributed out. It didn't take two seconds when I brought it home because it's an empty bag. Um, but it's the only time I have seen this at the Dollar Tree and actually the top part of it, and I don't have it, I, I tried to find it before I did this haul, it says per Purina and it's Dentalife. And there it is right there, Purina. Just so you know it is Purina. But we ripped it off and it had the little um, chewy uh, mint. It was a mint for the dental mint to make the breath dog's breath pretty good, uh, smell a little bit better and help their breath. And they tore into that and it was gone in two days, two days flat. It had only seven chews, but it was worth it because when you go out to like Walmart or our Publix or Kroger or anywhere like that, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a lot more than a dollar for these little dinner treats that were for the breath. Um, I've been looking for more of them because I will purchase more of them. The, the dogs love these. And it did, it did help. I mean, they need, they're gonna need some more work, but they, it did help them, their breath a lot. And it was $1. So very, um, very good find. I will definitely rebuy these. And I know they're good products and Perina's a pretty good brand, I'm assuming. All right, so that's the food and the pet part. So now I'm gonna go into um, miscellaneous, um, maybe like makeup, um, medicine-y, I don't know which one call it, household items, miscellaneous. Um, one of the one things that was on my wish list that I had been looking for and people had been talking about them and I kept saying, oh, you know, I'm gonna buy them if I ever see them. Well, I never saw them. Um, but then I was at the Dollar Tree just yesterday and I finally found these, I think it's Roly, Roll High maybe, I don't know, it's 75% ethylene wet wipes 100 is for as their alcohol wipes basically what they are but they're for home office vehicle and travel i'm going to tell you there's 100 wipes in here usually you'll get like 40 you might get 80 sometimes but this is 100 of them and they're you know wonderful they actually do have an expiration date of february 8th 2022 so, but I will use these, I, I use them on everything. I use them in my car. I will actually put one of these in my car and I'll keep one of them, you know, probably in, in my bedroom or my kitchen. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet because I didn't buy just one. I bought two of them because I haven't been seeing them. And so as soon as I saw these, um, cause I had seen someone else haul them, I said, yeah, I'm going to get it. Let me make sure this other one's the same expiration date. Just, yeah, 
yeah, February 2022. So I didn't know these had expiration dates for these wipes, which is fine. I'm, I'm going to use these way before 2022. But um, yeah, they're wonderful um, things. I have not actually used this brand, but I have, you know, been at places lately, especially like the dentist office and other places that have had these alcohol wipes out like that. They're full wipes and they just cover so much more than those little tiny ones that I hauled in another haul um, the other day. Yeah, wonderful 100 um, count wipe. Had to have two of them. Um, it's well worth the money. And I recommend these to anybody because this is a great deal. If you tried to buy something like that at Walmart, you're gonna spend more than a dollar. The other thing that I want to show is, is actually something that I've also gotten into. The top's been ripped off of it, is these placards. And um, I, I don't know if I've showed in any of the hauls yet, but I have the, the charcoal ones. I, I don't know if I've actually hauled those and talked about them. But that's the ones I usually like to get. But this one was um, a different one. It was um, Twin Line. Now, they only had 35, and I think the charcoal ones have like, 45 or 50 I'm not sure but what got me was this twin line um, and it's basically um, and I'm gonna open it up here and show you um, it's just the name brand Plackers um, it does have 35 but I want to show you one of these because I opened it up to you, you know see what it looked like when I bought it because I just was too curious before I got home and it is a mint flavor and guys, look at this. It's like got the, the double um, little things right here that can get, you know, double things. And then here's another little gadget on it. It's got the little pick here in the middle. I don't know if you can see this on camera that pops out. And I guess this can, you know, go through the middle of your teeth. So I think this was a really good um, buy. Um, I'm gonna try it out and see. Um, my teeth are a little sensitive sometimes. Um, and they're a little tight, so I like to find things like this just to see if it'll, you know, help get all the gunk and stuff out until my dental cleaning, and so they're not screaming at me. Okay, and then another thing that I thought was an awesome buy, and I actually um, bought it and then went straight to Walmart to see if um, they had it there and to see how much it was, and yeah, it was a totally different thing. So um, I don't have heartburn a lot. However, my pregnant daughter, Jade, does. And she was always asking me about Tums and things like that. And I saw this, it was Alka-Seltzer uh, Cool Action Heartburn Relief Gum. And in this package, they have um, eight pieces, okay? And it's the Cool Mint flavor and it works fast. Now there's eight pieces and I paid $1 for it. It says it expires January, 2022, which I know she will use these way before then. Um, so eight pieces. So I went to Walmart um, and I don't know how to put the little thing. One day I'll figure that out where you put the, the picture of how much it costs at Walmart. Well, they had one with 10, it was 10 pieces for $4. So three dollars more for this I mean for two more pieces excuse me so I will be giving this to her um, and I may you know just tear off one or two to keep around with me just in case just to try it out to see how it works but she's very limited on the things she can take while she's pregnant but this is one of the ones that's okay for her heartburn because she's got this really heavy heartburn right now so this will be an item that I get give to her I actually didn't see these I didn't see but one when I say I didn't see these I didn't see but one of these and that's why when I see one like this and I don't see a lot, they probably have limited um, amounts that they bring, you know, send to them. Um, I think they might send like 20, or maybe a case, 12 or 24 of one thing. And you know, so many people shop at the Dollar Tree, things get snapped up because I have not ever seen these in there before. And I think this is a great buy for a dollar and I know my daughter will appreciate that. Then I wanted to show you a, a buy that we buy every time we go there. Um, it's these razors. Um, they're six blades. Um, I've tried all kinds of razors. I have electric razors. I have expensive razors. I have razors with just two razor um, blade, razors instead of the six blades. Um, but these, I can, they're that a tight grip. They're heavier. 
um, and they have six blades and I actually, I love these and so does Jade. We use these all the time and I pick them up almost every single time I go because, you know, they are, you know, um, throwaways, but they are worth it. I mean, once I shave, you know, here and there, this is a good buy. They work. They are very sharp and it's two packs, two of them for a dollar and we use these all the time. Um, speaking about razors, um, I picked up this razor here from the Assured brand. I've never used this one, but for traveling, I thought I would take it because when you have the, the longer ones, um, if you don't put them up and the little lid comes off of them, the, the blade's exposed. But this one right here is a mini razor, um, silky skin, gentle smoothness, and it's basically a compact, portable razor for on the go by the Assured brand. And I'm gonna try this when I go to travel again. I'm gonna have it um, see how it works because I think this would be a better option than just having a, a, a open razor that could pop the lid off and, and cut somebody. So this is a little good buy for traveling and I recommend it. Hopefully it'll be good. Now, I um, have a ton of lotions. I have Bath and Body Work lotions. I have lotions that people have given to me. I have Aveeno. I have this and that, hand soaps. Um, but there is a hand soap um, that I have been passing up at the Dollar Tree for many, 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 many times. And um, I love the smell of it. And it is a brand name. It's this Jergens. Jergens lotion. It is awesome. And it has this, um, it's the cherry almond. My goodness, I love it. Cherry almond, it's um, 7.5 fluid ounces. It smells wonderful. I, I love it. I pass it up every time I go, but I want to put this in my um, kitchen sink because I just love the smell of it and I think it's just gonna be a great little thing. Also, you can't pass up these buys um, when it comes to um, Band-Aids. They have all types of Band-Aids, but here we got an, um, well, I got this backwards. It's 80 pack and it's by Care Pack. And there's different um, shapes here. And I liked it because it's transparent. You can put it on and you don't see this big old bulky Band-Aid. So that's why I bought that. And plus it's 80 Band-Aids for a dollar. And another Care Pack, this one I got um, because um, it had 25 in it, but it's waterproof. And um, sometimes, you know, you have a boo-boo and you want to put something on, you wash your hands and the Band-Aid just crumbles or comes off. Um, with these, I'm hoping that they'll be a good thing. Um, and I will be trying these and I'll let you know how they work out. But this is the 25 pack waterproof and then the 80 pack um, different sizes. And then last but not least in this category is um, this wonderful bottle of aloe after sun gel now i did not need this um, i'm not a big aloe kind of person because i don't hardly get sunburned anymore but um, i was doing some work out in the yard just a few days back and i didn't realize i had really didn't put on sunscreen i don't know what i was thinking it was overcast should have knew better um, my face was just really really tight and when i found out it was sunburned i said oh goodness and I had thought I had some aloe because, you know, I thought I had an old bottle, but I didn't. So I went over to the Dollar Tree and sure enough, being summertime, they had this Sea and Sun. It's made by Sea and Sun. Um, it says Lucky Super Soft. And it has the pump. That's what really I like about it because I think the old one I had, you just squirted it out and it went everywhere. But it has a little pump. So I'm gonna be able to use this and I will definitely keep this on my face so I don't have any peeling from the little bit of sunburn um, or wind burn. It might've been more like what it was. Um, it is a full bottle and it lasts me a long time. It's 12 fluid ounces. And I really think this is an awesome buy. Um, I am at a, a marking point where I'm going to call this the end of this Dollar Tree. Um, I had so much more I wanted to show, but I was determined not to make this forever long. Um, I have one last item um, in this Dollar Tree haul that I'm going to show you, and then I'm gonna end it here. Um, and hopefully um, I'll have a whole nother one to do in the next day or so because I have 
a whole ton of more stuff over here that I was going to show you, but I'm going to stop right here because again, I know it gets long and I just want to show you some of the things that I'm picking up and I think that they're awesome. But here's another um, item. Um, I told you in my last haul that I get these little plaques from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're just, you cannot, I don't even know if the camera's making it happen or not, but this says the best things in life aren't things. So yeah, we're buying things. We want to be, um, you know, careful of being frivolous or wasting our money. But I will tell you right now, the best things in life are not things. They're, they're our friends and our family. And, and that's what I want to let you know I do these Dollar Tree hauls more so just to, to get everybody excited about saving a dollar. Okay, you know, sometimes you might spend too much, but for the bottom line, um, the things here you're gonna use eventually. And I believe that just by sharing it, it might get other people interested in doing it. And I hope you can see this whole sign because it's awesome. I will be using this in my kitchen probably. I'll put it up and I'll say, you know, I'll read it every day. This is a heavy piece of wood. It's also made by the Greenbrier um, Industry, which is the, the store brand, the one that supplies the store, the Dollar Tree stores. And this is a good piece of wood and it's pretty long. But again, until the next time, take care.